The Gabčíkovo nad Maroš water structure system is one of the largest water management projects in Europe. It includes the Gabčíkovo locks, which have been in operation since 1992, providing both domestic and international navigation of the Danube for over 25 years. It is with the express purpose of increasing the safety and frequency of water transport that a project has been launched in cooperation with the European Union entitled Upgrade of the Gabčíkovo Locks. The Gabčíkovo Locks are part of the Trans-European Transport Network, 10T, the Rhine-Danube Corridor, with the Danube Waterway axis as its backbone, connecting the North Sea with the Black Sea via an intracontinental shipping route. The main goal of this highly important project is to increase the safety, fluency, and reliability of navigation through the Gabčíkovo Locks. The locks are an indispensable part of the multi-purpose water management facility Gabčíkovo Waterworks, together with the Gabčíkovo Hydropower Plant, which produces approximately 10% of Slovakia's total energy needs. Each year, an average of over 15,000 vessels, approximately 300,000 people, and more than 6 million tons of cargo pass through the Gabčíkovo locks. The two lock chambers together have enough capacity to hold 12 large passenger vessels or 18 cargo ships. The locks are distinguished by their sophisticated three-level filling system, which allows boats to overcome a difference of water level of up to 23 meters. The combination of intensive use and continuous operation over more than 25 years has had consequences for the functionality and dependability of the Gabčíkovo locks various facilities in both chambers. Thanks to EU funding, the project will realize the locks full utilization potential and through grouting, carry out a comprehensive upgrade of the subsoil beneath the locks. Grouting the subsoil will lengthen groundwater streamlines and fill in existing degraded areas that could otherwise be enlarged by the flow of groundwater. Grouting will likewise be applied to expansion joints to prevent seepage through the joints. The upgrade will also extend to the dynamic protection system, which mechanically stops vessels in danger of collision with the lock gates, upper or lower. The upstream gates separate the lock chamber from the inlet channel. Replacing the gates will provide the conditions for more than 153,000 additional cycles, which at 14 cycles daily represents 30 years of continuous operation. The current gates are past the end of their life cycle and require complete replacement. The downstream gates separate the lock chamber from the outlet channel. They are located on the lower lock head below the bridge and open into recesses toward the inside of the chamber. The gates are made up of two segments, each weighing 500 tons. They open against the current. In their present configuration, they cannot be closed into the current. The upgrade will also include the channel system, a part of the lock's hydraulic filling and emptying system. It consists of channels with apertures at the level of the lock chamber base through which the chamber is filled and emptied. The channels, made of concrete, are separated from each other by expansion joints and within the blocks, construction joints, which will be sealed as part of the upgrade. The upgrade will also extend to the inlet and outlet closures, which open and close the channels for filling and emptying the lock chambers. In addition, the upgrade will include the fabrication and installation of an expert control system for the lock's operation, which will track vessels and systematically monitor the current and water level of the navigational and hydroelectric operations. Administration and coordination of the project began in 2016. Construction works at the locks will last from 2019 to December 2021. During this time, one of the two lock chambers will always remain fully operational. Upgrading the locks will not only enhance their safety, prolong their operating life and improve their dependability, it will also maximize their navigation throughput during concurrent use of both lock chambers in the future. These upgrades to the Gabčíkovo locks will allow them to better compete with other modes of transport by making navigation more expeditious, convenient, and fluent. Water transport also represents a greener alternative, thanks to its effectiveness at improving the environment and reducing emissions. 
Our goal is to make a sustainable long-term investment for the future, which will boost the efficiency, dependability and competitiveness of the Danube Waterway, part of the Trans-European Transport Network. The project Upgrade of the Gabčíkovo Locks for the Increase of Safety and Frequency of Water Transport is co-financed by European Union funds via the Connecting Europe facility, which is providing 85% of the total budget, a sum of nearly 123 million euros. Thanks to European Union assistance, Slovakia can take another step forward and elevate water transport to a higher level.